Hello, guys. So this is me at 101 assessment four, and this video is generally about a quite special experience of myself, which I've never done that before, and my personal feelings after that. So this experience was quite like an experiment, which caused my 24 hours to do that, and it's called media detox. So, what is media detox? That's my normal life with my laptop and my phone for serving the internet or communicating with my friends. And the music, of course, for relaxing and the magazines. The books, the most important things in my life. And all the things seems are obviously supposed to appear in my life. Media detox is basically a period of time which a person stops of using all the media platforms to get information and any electronic devices such as the computers, smartphones or even the newspapers and books. It is also regarded that it is an opportunity to reduce the stress and refocus on social interaction on the physical world. To be honest, I was totally shocked when I knew this assessment and I remembered I told my friend that it is definitely impossible for me to do the media detox for 24 hours because I know myself that I couldn't live without Facebook, Instagram or the music. I could probably die. It seems like I've got used to updating the Facebook and the Instagram every second time, every spare time, every day. So it is really a great challenge for me to do the media detox. The reason for picking up the date for media detox is the day is the weekend, which is perfect for me. And my housemates, they were going to Manchester for shopping, so... Uh, I basically locked myself in my room and locked some of my electronic devices in my housemate's room and finally I switched my phone off to formally start the media detox. It seems all beginnings are difficult. It was quite difficult for me in the morning during the media detox because normally in the weekends when I wake up, I just check my messages and update the Facebook and other social media platforms with my iPhone. I know it's a bad habit. I always miss my breakfast on the weekends just because of phone. However, when I wake up in the morning during the media detox, there is no phone, no computer, even no music players and obviously no friend in the house. I feel strongly lonely and anxious. I don't know what to do and what I can do. I was in a daze in my bed for a few minutes and decided to do the breakfast for myself. After the breakfast, I realized that it was the first time for me to do the breakfast in the weekends after the Christmas. I started to think about why and to think the efficiency and the impact of the phone in my life because I realized that my lifestyle are becoming unhealthy because of the phone. So after the breakfast, I told myself to be calm down and relax the media detox. So after breakfast, I just did a big cleaning in my room and the sitting room in our house. After lunch, I decided to go out and take some fresh air. The sunshine was pretty good and I walked to a park where I've never been there before. The park is called Williamson Park, which I've saw that once on a map. But I just cannot imagine that the park was so near to my house. At that moment, I realized that I've missed so much beautiful things in my life by reading a joke on Facebook or looking at other people's moments on Instagram. It seems like 
I was always watching other people's life and forgot to enjoy my own life. I would like to share my feelings and the beautiful things with my friends, as I always did before on media platforms. But I realized that I cannot do that because I'm in a media detox. This kind of feeling was quite weird and sad. It was like I lost my essentials in my life. When I returned home, I did the yoga for half an hour, and then I found I have nothing to do by myself, because usually I watch the TV shows or listen to the music in the evening. I really don't know what else I can do to instead of them, so I can only make the dinner for myself for quite a long time and wash all the dishes. And then I did some laundry and slept early at the night. The media detox experience is quite meaningful to me because it taught me a lot. On the one hand, I cannot rely on the media things such as my phones or laptop anymore because it wasted too much time and it made a bad effect on my healthy lifestyle. And on the other hand, I realized the importance of media in our modern life. We cannot really live without media, but we do need to use the media things well and rational. We cannot like live in the media world and do not communicate with the people in the physical world. It's so horrible. Yeah, so that's my personal feelings of the media detail. That's it.